Nottingham, home to the legendary Robin Hood and his trusty bow. But now, I hear there's a new guy in town. He's got a chainsaw. We sat down with the team at the Sumo Digital Nottingham Studio to get all the details on their latest title, the highly anticipated and iconic, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. With a growing number of titles in the asymmetrical multiplayer space, how is Texas Chainsaw Massacre going to set itself apart? The first thing that's really obvious is we're 3v4. A lot of the other titles in the area are 1v4. Um, we've added the extra killers, and that comes from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre IP itself. The IP, the, the movie is all about family, protecting their way of life. We've brought that into the game, and being family and playing as a family is, is really important. And you can only do that with with kind of Texas Chainsaw Massacre authentically. So we've been really fortunate with Texas Chainsaw Massacre that we've had heavy involvement from Kim Henkel himself. He was involved in the original film heavily and his current rights holders. Um, there's a lot of characters that he's created in the lore of the 74 original movie. And we've taken those characters with him. We've fleshed them out, given them abilities that all match and make them balance as part of gameplay. And now they're actually in our game and kind of playable. This is set a, a month or two, or a year or so, just before the original film. So what, what's it like to be there? And that's, that, that then wins its way all the way through the gameplay to the, the perks, the abilities. Yeah, well, lighting was, has been a fundamental part of the game. In a lot of games, the lighting is just aesthetic. Uh, and I don't mean that to be simplistic, but it's just about how do you make it look good. But for us, it's a fundamental part of the gameplay. Our players, especially the victims from the beginning, start in a basement where it's very, very dark and work their way up into sometimes a nighttime or sometimes a, a daytime area. But they have to use that, whatever that lighting is, they have to use it to hide and use their stealth all the way through. Just like in film, the music and sound design behind a project can make it or break it for a player. How have you guys made sure that this is up to speed? One of the big things that we've got in Texas Chainsaw Massacre is the use of a, an instrument called the apprehension engine, which creates all kinds of weird and wonderful sounds that are synonymous with horror kind of music. We've taken kind of streams from that and our kind of audio director, Ross Dragenza, has done wonders with building up the tension throughout the game using different kind of instruments, different sounds, and it kind of reflects the experience that's coming through with what he does with the orchestration of, of those sounds. There were field trips out to Texas, um, everything from the plants, the, the fauna, the bushes, even the birds and the bird sounds are authentic to that area of Texas as well. So the original chainsaw that was in the game was a kind of a modified version um, that they made for the movie. We've actually sourced the same make and model, done the same modifications, recreated that. That's been 3D scanned, so that's gone into the game as is in the film, and also sound recordings been done of that, that chainsaw itself. So you'll start off very quiet. What does this place sound like when it's silent? What does silence sound like in the game? Some of those are actual strategies in the game, right? The game, as a victim, it's all about being stealthy as possible. I and mean, you start in a crouched position. So that's you know really unusual. I don't know any other game that does that. And right. it tells you a lot about what this game's going to be about. It's not a run around game. It's about using your stealth as much as possible, hiding in shadows, doing things quietly. You can Opening choose to do things quietly. Exactly. You can choose to do things quickly. You can choose to do things loudly, but the family will know where you are, so that you do that at your own peril. So it's 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 all about choices. It's all about giving the player choice as to what to do. We had at the top of our minds when we first started. We're making a game. As we go back to the first question, asymmetric horror. This is three v four, and one of those guys is Leatherface with a chainsaw. How do we make sure that we don't have everyone just going? I just want to be Leatherface, and it was. A, really rewarding to see in very early playtests that people were like, I want to be cook. I, I like doing that bit because that's my play style. I like being sneaky and I like hearing around for who's there. Other people really love playing the hitchhiker. They love setting up those traps and when they go off, there's this big, oh, go on, I oh, go on, and yeah, people yeah. are really joyous. Um, and on the flip side, it's a completely, there's kind of two games there for some people, two different play experiences. Especially on the flip side, we've got the victims and they're playing a more stealthy, less attacking, game and they've got to sneak around and use kind of true to life hide and seek um, mind games if you will. What is the team here focused on right now? We've got all the right things in the right places. The team are, is a focused on upping the quality now, 
we've done a great job so far this year of getting focus testers in. We've had them in quite early on. They're helping us shape the game through their feedback, what we ex watch them experience. We'll go through and we'll, we'll tighten those things up. So we've got a, a nice run ahead of us to, to make this game as polished an experience as, as it can be and that we want it to be and be truly something special for all the fans out there.